So with England in another lockdown, I decided to bite the bullet and just buy my own kit to develop my film. The kit I decided to go with is the Ilford Simplicity Kit. Those are the chemicals I use to develop my film. The Ilford Simplicity Kit comes with a developer, a stock bath and a fixer. The kit I bought specifically, I decided to get five of each of the chemicals. This gives me 10 rolls to develop before I have to buy any more. What you'll need to develop your own film is developer, stock bath and film fixer. I also used a wetting agent. Um, you mix this in with the water right at the end when you're washing it off. And this makes sure all the water just rolls off it um, when it's drying and it's actually anti-static. So no dust will attach to the film when it's drying. So the developer that's included is Ilfasol 3. This is good for films like medium range films. Um, so like ISO 100 to 400 should give you some good fine grain sort of a good all-round um, don't use it for like 3200 or ISO 50 or anything I mean you still could it's just designed for these sort of normal speeds of film so it's been snowing here up in North London um, and I decided to shoot some Ilford HP5 through my contacts 137 I shot this roll just to develop it myself sort of like a test roll I have developed my own film before back at college when I could get my hands on the equipment um, but I haven't developed it in a while and I just wanted to see if I could still load the film onto the uh, still load the film in the dark in the dark bag I managed to do it okay still got the muscle memory so when it actually comes to developing your film the chemicals you use in order is the developing chemicals then the stock bath and then the fixer so I shot some Ilford HP5 and on the box it says this should be developed for 6 minute 30 at 20 degrees Celsius using Ilfosol 3. So ideally you want your solution to be 20 degrees Celsius. If you can't achieve 20 exactly, you count each degree off 20 degrees as 10% of the time it takes to develop your film. So I was at 19 degrees, so I left my film to develop for seven minute 15 seconds, which is 10% longer than you should be developing your film for if you were using 20 degrees. Next, you want to use your stop bath. Um, use this for at least 30 seconds. And then straight after, you want to use your fixer, which you should leave in there for a minimum of three minutes. The whole time your film is developing or stopping or fixing, you want to, you want to rotate it upside down and back again four times every minute, just to ensure the chemicals are all moved around, getting rid of any air bubbles and making sure the film is covered. So at the end, you'll want to wash your film with water. This is when you include the wetting agent if you decide to include it. So wash your film with the water and the wet agent and then pour this out and then it take your film out should be developed if you've done it right it should all be looking fine check to see if there are any snags on the spool um, if you're lucky there aren't and your film has developed properly so then you'll want to hang up your film to dry I had a squeegee included in the kit that I bought so I squeegeed it down hung it up to dry in a small bathroom with a radiator and it only took about half an hour before it was fully dry and ready to scan so Samson has brought back his valve mic. So please stay tuned for some ASMR. If you if you fancy it, here is a Pentax six seven. It's pretty old school. Hear the clicking. It's pretty relaxing, I reckon. Mmm, clickiness. Oh, fucking hell. The film actually turned out really well. There weren't any air bubbles or anything, so yeah, no, it developed really well. It was pretty easy to do. I think if you've got the sort of mathematical brain anyway, if you're shooting analog film, metering, etc., this should not be hard for you to develop your own film. Just the, getting the technique right and the temperature, just sort of the physical side of it, you've got to get used to um, opening the canister, actually loading the film um, into the tank, Actually loading the film into the tank um, is the hardest bit, I'd say, because you've got to do it in complete darkness in the dark bag. Um, I'd practiced before with an already exposed roll of film, just getting it onto the spool, but it shouldn't be too hard. I think anyone could easily do this, and especially using these chemicals, it makes it so, so easy to dilute the solution down 
um, to where it should be. It's almost too easy the way they do it. Um, this is definitely the best kit I'd advise for beginners or if you're developing your film for the first time. This is the developing kit I went with just because of the price they had it at, at the moment and people having developing chemicals in stock. This is all I could really find. I was just fed up with the labs being shut and not being able to get out and developing my film. So I decided to just do it myself. And it means it's sort of an instant turnaround. I mean, you can go and shoot a roll in the morning, develop it the next hour, scan it if you've got a scanner. I scanned these pictures on my Epson V600. I don't like how they come out. I don't think, well, everyone knows the V600 is not a good scanner for 35 mil. It's just the softest scans you'll get. Um, I only really use it for medium format. Um, yeah, I wasn't really happy with the scans, but I can always rescan them um, or get a better scanner. Yeah, the V600 is not a, a very good scanner for 35 mil. I would not buy it if you're only shooting 35 mil. It's definitely not worth it. So I bought five of each chemical. So with each pouch, I can do two rolls of 35 mil or one roll of 120 film. I bought five pouches of each, so that means I've got 10 rolls of 35 mil or five rolls of 120. So this works for the developer, stock bath and fixer, but with the wetting agent, you'll only need to buy one pouch because each pouch can be used for 16 rolls of 35 mil, which is a lot because you only use a capful into the water at the end. You really don't need a lot of this. So don't make the mistake and buy five pouches because it's overkill, it's not necessary. Um, that's way too much wetting agent that you'll need to develop your film. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this kit. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna get some different chemicals next time, probably buy them in powder form, save some money. I've just gotta wait for people to get them in stock. Wait for all of this to be over. I'll be back at the lab shooting color film. At the moment, I still can post my film to the lab. It's just long. Um, and I decided to develop it myself. Definitely the next thing I'm gonna get my hands on is an enlarger. I think that's the next logical step in this analog process and I have tried it out before but I'd love to have my own one, make my own prints, gives me something to do, gives me a little project um, and I'd love to get good at this process as well. I think that would be really fun. So yeah, I've got these chemicals, developing my own stuff, I'm not waiting for the lab. I should be taking more photos for these videos, I'll hopefully be making much more videos for this channel, had a little bit of a dry spout this winter, just not a lot of motivation and I didn't have a lot of resources to make these videos but I'm definitely going to crack down make some more of these for you guys let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see um, I genuinely don't really know what you want to see maybe you want to see reviews or just me out and about taking photos definitely let me know so thanks for watching if you have any questions about this process drop me a comment or message me on my Instagram and as always thank you for watching and I will see you next time cheers